Hello, this is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. I'm kind of sitting close here. <laughs> I need to, if I'm close, I'm like, well, it's way too close. Anyhow, hi, uh, this is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, talking on Tuesday at 2. Um, and I put on the thing, I'm playing with the barn bundle, the barn set. I love the Christmas barn set. There's something about barns um, that I love. I always feel sad when you see a barn that's kind of like, hasn't been taken care of <laughs> they do so much work and they're such a part of our of our farmers and our country and our I just I just think barns are totally cool anyhow um so I was playing with the barn set I I did three cards um the card I'm going to do today is the third card that I did and so um I'm going to make a couple little changes to it just because that's what happens when you you know you keep doing them, then you make a little change. So, welcome, welcome. Also, um, for our open house was a big success. Thank you to all who attended. Um, and I'll tell you the winners of our little, we had two little contests here. One was guessing how many M&Ms were in our food safe box. And um, one as a thank you gift was an adhesive package that we gave away. So, I will let you know who won at the end of the video. And I'll show you some of the other ones. So thank you for joining me. If you're joining me now, you're joining me later. That's okay. Um, let me know that you're here. Let me know what you think. Thank you to, um, and I'm sorry, I don't remember the name, but you know, it was really cloudy. It looked like I was um, cooking here down here because I do have a little, little kitchen area down here, even though I don't cook. But um, once in a while when I cook, it gets kind of smoky down here. <laughs> And I thought, well, that was weird. But she said, just try cleaning the lens. So I did that. And so hopefully um, it'll be clear today. So let's turn the camera around. If you want to look in the catalog at the, um, the Christmas barn, it is in the holiday catalog on page 28. You can buy the bundle for $46.75. So add on a little extra, you know, like some glue or adhesive. And then <clears throat> you can get a free celebration item. So it's really, really cute. I love it. I'm having fun with it. I'll show you what I did. So let me turn the camera around here. Ta-da. Okay, close your eyes if this bothers you. We're going to go for a little ride. All right. Hello, Barb. Here we go. Okay, so this is the Christmas barn. Let's put it up here so it doesn't... Um, and then look at all the fabulous dyes. So it has like a pool area here. It has a, the silo. Uh, it has dies for the verses, for these two verses. Um, for the barn, there's some extra little snowflakes. Um, there's an, a different fence here, uh, opposite, different from the fence die that's um, for the stamped fence. Um, <clears throat> little snowflakes, a wreath, the tree. Yeah, and a little sign here. And then the horse and buggy, which, of course, is, like, fabulous. So, 14 dies. I think I think that's, yeah, 14 dies in this set. Now, the card that I did, um, I, I paired this up, the card I'm doing today, with this stamp set, Brightest Glow, because I wanted to use this, uh, Tis the Season, and then one of the inside verses. So I try to plan so if I'm using multiple things or multiple items out of one set that I can have that out for a couple different cards. Um, so then I bring in another set that ha that uses some different verses, which we are we are blessed with a bunch of them here. So it's really good. All right. So let me move this aside. I'll show you the other ones afterwards. I'm not even going to show you the card first. We're going to, we're just going to start stamping right away. So here's my scrap paper. I'm going to stamp my barn first. Well, here, this barn is going to get stamped on here. So this is the front part of my uh, card. Okay. I'm going to stamp the barn in with my memento because I'm going to color it in with the blends. So on some of the barns, I used uh, Real Red. This one I used Cherry Cobbler. And so it's just tap, tap, tap. And then trying to decide where the barn should go. And I put it way over on the side like this. And then it was kind of like, 
make sure that you get it straight on there. So here we go. It's sort of, I think this is where I went. Okay. Some of them I cut the barn out. Some of them I did a little extra cutting. When you use the die for this set, um, where is it? Right here. Um, when you use the die for it, it cuts out the barn and then all this snow area here. So it, it, it cuts out all of that. Good stuff. Now on one of them, I, I ended up cutting that out. So you can do whatever you want. <laughs> it's, that's the beauty of it, right? Okay, so I did my barn. And then I stamped my trees in my favorite Christmas color, shaded spruce. What else would a spruce tree be? An evergreen would have to be shaded spruce. I'm going to try to close that for a minute. Okay, so here we go. So then I added some trees in. To my picture and I wanted the trees in the foreground the barn in the background so the trees are going to come a little bit closer here's my little trees so shaded spruce and then I put it fairly close to the side here I wanted to use up the whole picture and I put them kind of close together so it was a row of trees in the front of the barn area and then, because the barn is snuck behind there, I also did one over here. So it's going to overlap a little bit on the barn. That's okay. There we go. Ta-da. Then, on this scrap paper is where we're going to stamp um, the fence. I'm going to put a fence on this little picture. So I used soft suede for my fence so where's my fence right here so it's kind of cool because it's like the background and then coming forward the fence and i at first i looked at it so remember uh, that you get the fence going the right direction right so the littler uh, pieces are the top of the fence so there we go i got my fence in there and then I did my my words. Now for my words, um, because I wanted this oval, I love this set. This is from All That Die. That's the man set that he's all that. Um, I wanted this little oval because it just fit perfect for what I wanted to use it for. So um, I'm going to put it, I'm gonna change it up from the original card and I'm going to put my words in Cherry Cobbler. So we'll have two different cards to compare. Um, a lot, uh, very similar, but a little different, right? So here we go. Here's my little, tis the season. Did I squish it too hard? I did. I'm going to do it again. There. See, see how I pressed a little bit too hard? And then I kind of, uh, kind of squished down the stamp. Here's a nice clean stamp of it so there we go and then I'm going to stamp on here because we're going to cut it out my um, horse and buggy so the horse too <laughs> lots of options right what color horse do you want and you don't have to clean the barn with this horse <laughs> you just get to enjoy it here I'm going to put this right here ta-da so, and there's a die to cut that out too. So it's so wonderful. All right, <clears throat> so I'm going to color. I'm gonna use the blends here. I used um, soft suede and I colored in the trunks of my, I used a dark soft suede to color in the trunks of my trees. So I just kind of quickly went up here and filled that in. I hope that you're seeing this kind of there's kind of it's kind of in between all the branches and I'm just kind of touching it a little here and there going up here there ta da and then this tree on the end um, there is a die to cut trees out so on one of them you'll see that where I cut it out now I'm gonna leave this here because then I'm gonna color in the barn now I used um, 
the light cherry cobbler for my barn because it's already kind of dark. It has some dark areas in it. But I kind of found that um, um, around the doors and the windows, it's sort of small. And I, I accidentally was touching those sides. And so I ended up coloring in the edges around the windows with the soft suede. I added, I didn't do it all just white uh, or red. I covered, I colored the frames, the door frames and the window frames in with um, my soft suede. There we go. They were so tiny. Some of the area is so tiny. I'll use the other part of the brush, but I'm trying to go fast here so you're I don't want to bore anybody here. But look, the barn comes to life. You add a little color and the barn just comes to life. It's so cool. There we go. I have to always turn everything around. Do you do that when you... I'm constantly doing that. I'm getting the biggest part of it here. And you can see that there's already, because of the lines in there, there's already some shading, so I didn't feel bad about not going in and adding a little bit of dark cherry cobbler here and there, like under the eaves and that kind of stuff. Um, I thought it was enough to color. I'm just gonna kind of go with it. There. Okay. Back in the corner, now I'm gonna switch out to be a little bit more uh, delicate point here so I can get the detail in a little bit better without going over. The other one, I feel like I work a lot faster, right? Of course, it's like you have a big paintbrush and a little paintbrush, right? So here, where I went by the trees, <clears throat> I just kind of colored in around it so that you see the branches. And they're in the foreground. Barn is in the background. It's a little smaller. There. There we go. And then I had to go in these other little areas here. That's where I found it really hard to kind of keep in the line. So I just kind of touched it with the red and then I went with my soft suede, fixed it up. <laughs> Because if you use your, um, you know, the white marker to kind of move it around, you're moving the ink around with that, uh, with your mark blend. It, with the red, it sort of looked um, dark. So while I know I c went into those lines, I can go color right over the top of it with my soft suede. There we go. I think on the other one I used the lighter soft suede, but that's okay. And then we'll get to compare the two. There. I'm going kind of fast so that it's not bad to color it. I know some. You know, either you like to color or you don't like to color, but you almost have to have the barn red. <laughs> I mean, you have to. Although there are some barns around that aren't. We have a big, they used to have a big barn right off the freeway that was like bright yellow. And it had a happy face painted on it. I think it was a store. I never, I never went in there, but I think they used to, it was a, a store in there. There we go around those and then I also did right up here oh there's where I forgot a little bit of red don't forget the top of the barn but I like the accent um, you'll see some of them I did this and some of them I didn't so we'll show you all of them when I get done okay I need to touch this up here just a little bit. Okay. 
And then I took my light balmy blue and I just kind of went around these edges here and around the trees where it was snow. So, ta-da, just like that. I decided that this barn, unlike the first barn, should have lights glowing in the window. So we're gonna color this in. So there's activity in this barn. There we go. Somebody's in there milking the cows. All right, now we can color our horse. I like to color everything prior to cutting it out. I think that works a lot easier. Um, my horse on here, I used um, dark smoky slate, dark and light smoky slate, so the, the combo. I decided to make this guy darker. So my other one I did opposite, so I'll show you what that looks like. I didn't do much shading or anything. Again, it's, it's so tiny. I thought I'm just gonna do, I did the body of the horse in the dark smoky slate and the tail and the um the tail and the the hair on it you and you don't even have to color him in i mean he could be white he could be a white horse um the tail and the mane i did with the light smoky slate and i did their shoes in this there we go okay so here's the light and i did that with the tail let's do the other end here the tail, just colored it in a little bit there. Okay, so my sleigh. I did the sleigh in bronze for this one. One of them I did it in red and cherry cobbler, so it's sort of fun. It's not that big, so you can pick out what color you want your sleigh to be. There. I also used the... Um, smoke or the soft suede for the harness on the horse there we go there there we go okay and then i use my red for the blanket this was the biggest thing is like well, okay what color should i color the people in here so I decided to go, of course, red and green. So I went red on the blanket and red on the guy further away. And then I used the shaded spruce close. So here's the dark shaded spruce for, for this guy, person. I don't know what it is. It's a person. There we go. And then I used the light shaded spruce on his hat just to give it a little bit of different color and the scarf there. The face, thank you for having so many different colors. I used the SU 900 on the face and hands. It's tiny, but if you don't do it, you will miss it. It will look funny. There we go. I probably could have colored, they could have had mittens on or something. Okay, now I'm going to set this one aside and I'm going to bring over my cut and emboss machine here. Ta-da! There we go. Okay, now let's put this down. Here's my oval from the He's All That set. So I'm going to put that on here. Bring my, where is it? Here we go my horse die and they fit around here really good so just kind of there okay and my uh, die for the fence here there we go okay cut these out and then we'll play play with them we'll play with all the pieces one filled swoop okay here we go 
Dies come falling right off. Love that. No fuss, at, no fuss, no fighting. Here's all my pieces. Where's my, here it is. My pickup tool here. There we go. Okay. Whoop, come back here. There we go. Okay. So barn comes back. Here's all my little pieces. I did go with my um, balmy at the bottom here because it, you know, it's going through the snow. So we have snow over there. We're going to put snow there too. There we go. All right. And then dimensionals. So I put the layering here. On the original one, I used soft suede. On this one, I'm going to use the, um, my green <laughs> shaded spruce. Oh my gosh. I lost my, I lost it. I have a brand new glue, so it's waiting to come out here. There we go. So yes, I brought the so this one you'll see is a little bit different from the original. We'll see which one you like better. So there's my, that kind of brings that out when you put the colors behind it. And then my fence here, I'm going to use dimensionals on. And I think I have some little baby ones cause I have to, there's my little baby dimensionals. Let's see, here's some, yeah, all right. I needed some of the smaller ones too here. I even cut some to, to kind of make sure the fence was in there good. So I'm gonna put my dimensionals on here. Let's see here. Put one here, one over here. Kind of over that, but I wanted to cut a little tiny piece to go along that la the post that's closest. So I just cut a tiny little strip here, picked it up and put it right on there. There, ta-da. Okay, we'll put this in place first. So my fence is going to be fencing in the trees here. So I went all the way to the edge. This is even more in the uh, forefront here and then my little horse and cart there whoops I didn't get that on there right let's move it over a little bit there okay and put a couple of these little ones on here I love that we have many the many dimensionals I'm always afraid if you leave it out a little bit that you're going to um, catch it when you pull it in and out of the um, envelope. So that's why I put some extra ones on. My horse is not leaving. <laughs> okay, then I put this right here. Ta-da! There we go. All right. Doesn't it just come to life? It's sort of fun just to see how you know, it changes the, every element you add makes it look different. Okay. Tis the season. We're going to put it right here. Ta-da. We're going to put this on a cherry cobbler base. Where's my right here? Such a cute stamp set with lots of lots of different looks to it there we go and then inside we're gonna stamp one of our trees i'm gonna do the verse in the cherry cobbler because i did the verse on the outside with the cherry cobbler so i'm gonna bring that in here here's the verse hopefully i get it on here straight there we go. Let's see here. There. And then just to add a little something, something, I'm going to put a tree in here. Where are my trees? Here you are. 
Okay. All the way down here. Just one. I just think it looks nicer. Here's my soft suede. For my tree trunk. There. And my light balmy. Little touch, that little tiny touch of blue makes a difference. It just looks better. All right. Let's glue this on. Little adhesive. There we go. Ta da. Put it inside. And then I'll bring out my other things here. There. Okay. There we go. I didn't add any rhinestones or anything. It just felt like it had enough going on. I think um, you could put a couple little rhinestones down here, or a little something, something, but I just thought it had enough going on. So here's the one we did now. Here's the one I did earlier. So I did, <clears throat> I changed it up. I changed up uh, and put the shaded spruce background versus the soft suede here. I added a uh, light in the barn. So I added a little glow coming out of the window. And then inside, I did the cherry cobbler and put a tree in. This one I just left. So which one do you like better? Kind of the same, a little bit the same, a little bit different. <laughs> so here is, this is the first one I did. So on this one, I did use, I have the barn popped up and the silo, I used uh, gray granite um, cardstock. It gives a, it, when you cut it out, it's, there's not a stamp, but it's textured. So you can see the ribbing in there, it's textured. Hi, Stacy. So, and then I cut that part out. Remember I told you that it cuts out around the barn, but it gives you this whole bottom piece too. I cut that off because I wanted to put my verse right here down at the bottom. Um, if I was to do this one again, I would move the trees over further. I like when it takes up the whole expanse. Also with this one, I used um, pool party and I used a brush, one of our brushes, and I kind of brushed around there. I brushed around the tree that was popped up. There we go. And then I did, this was my second one. And I just wanted all trees. I did use the little... Um, cutouts for the twinkly stars. I'm not sure that I'm happy with that, but um, I just wanted my um, horse to be riding through. Here's the horse in, in opposite colors, right? It's lighter. Um, I, again, I used the balmy brush to go around there. This is how the die cuts out your Merry Christmas to you and yours. So that's included in that bundle. And there we go. I just did yeah so there we go so i i i like the shaded spruce background better than the plain uh soft suede let me know what you think so that's that one now i have let's see here so pam b pam you came to open house and this is what pam this was our thank you gift for everybody coming we had all kinds of um of our um, adhesives. So we had the black um, Stampin' Dimensionals, the white ones, the mini glue dots, green glue, um, the foam, the adhesive uh, uh, tape. Yep, we got a little bit of everything. PM, this is yours, so it'll be in your open house order. And then Judy, Judy L, you came the closest to guessing. So this isn't this an adorable little box? This is a food safe box. It's filled with M&Ms, and I think we had in um, 78, and she guessed 76. Somebody guessed 75, and she guessed 76. So, yep, there we go. That's what was in there. So, Judy, um, you will have to come by and pick up your little box. And then I received a box today, so I'm going to show you guys this. This is from Stampin' Up. Um, came in the mail today, this cute little box. 
and it has this beautiful pin in it with the five little diamonds. And this is uh, what they sent me um, to celebrate my milestone of hitting 500,000. So in my lifetime sales. So it's been 15 years um, in August. It'll be 15 years I've been having this much fun. I've I've just, it's been a, a great, uh, a great time. I've met so many wonderful people and I'm very thankful to Stampin' Up! Um, for, for many things, but <laughs> I thought, isn't that cute? It's an adorable little box. I, I love boxes. If it's a cute box, I'll be keeping this box forever. But I just thought how cool that is. So that's that. And it has a little, little tab here. Bloop. Ta-da. There we go. All right. Let me turn the camera around. Ta-da. Here we go. <clears throat> Tomorrow, <clears throat> for Winging It on Wednesday, I won't have a new monkey cut kit, but we are in the process. Um, Julie was here yesterday, and we planned out, I think, three or four new monkey cut kits. So <clears throat> I will be um, bringing at least one of those next week. So I ordered supplies for them, and they're gonna be, it's going to be exciting. Also, tomorrow um, I'm going to a movie with some friends and some siblings of mine. <laughs> and so I won't be here at 2 o'clock tomorrow. I will be here at five o'clock tomorrow. So um, we're gonna go see Top Gun. If y'all have, have not seen it, we have not seen it and we thought it would be fun. So um, all the old people are going. <laughs> so um, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like my video, please share it. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, we're up to 778 or 77, I think that's huge. So thank you so much, and I will see you tomorrow at 5 o'clock, so it'll be kind of late tomorrow. Please join me then. Thank you. Bye-bye.